Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tell me why. Tell me why. Girl, I did this video already and my stupid microphone did not work and didn't pick up the audio. So now here I am. I had to grab everything again and here I'm filming it again. But it's okay, it's okay, ain't nothing but a thing. Today I'm going to be doing a perfume haul. I got some new goodies and I really wanted new perfumes. I feel like as somebody who has a perfume channel and does Instagram and TikTok, I want to get new things so that I can recommend new things. I can't just always have the same products um, and talk about them like a million times, if that makes sense. So I did get a couple of things. So let's just go ahead and get started, honey. The first one that I'm so excited to show you is this one. Replicas, um, Maison Margiela's Saline Day. So, girl, I had never really given this brand a chance. I knew about it. I just never went over to their fragrances because I did smell their newest release, which is a tomato-based one or something. It smells like tomates or something like that. And I didn't like it. That one I did not like at all. But this one, I went to Sephora. I smelled it. And as soon as I smelled it, I was like, I need it. I need it. I need it. Because it's literally right up my scent profile. And it is just gorgeous. The bottle is Gorgina. I love the bottle. It literally looks like the ocean. The best way that I can describe this is that it literally smells like you are at the beach on a sunny day. But it's not extremely hot. It's just the perfect amount like maybe 75 degree sun. You know? <laughs> the water is blue as hell. And you smell the seaweed. Like there's seaweed floating around. It is so weird. Maybe to some people that does not seem good and it's like kind of off-putting but to me i loved it as soon as i sprayed it it's a unisex fragrance if you like fresh and aquatic scents you would love this one i know somebody had recommended to me i think it's called beach walk or something like that i did smell that one because i know it has a coconut nose so i was super intrigued the only thing is that for me when that dried down i got a very heavy baby oil scent so i don't know i still have to test it out again and see if maybe i change my mind once i smell it um, again, but for now it's a no. Okay, and then another one. Let's just keep it in the aquatics um, This brand actually gave this one to me. This one is called after sun It's by the brand vacation So they sent me their newest perfume. This is a very very heavy melon scented fragrance So if you like very fruity fragrances and fresh you're gonna like this one The aloe vera stands out so much that you can smell it like right away super refreshing great for the summertime I cannot wait to wear this more. Okay, another Another one that is so exciting, you guys know I I actually own the YSL Libre Intense and I really wanted to get myself the original because I love the original. It's just more fresh than the Intense. So I have the Libre EDP, but girl, this one, here she is, look at her. She's gorgeous. I love this fragrance. Love it, love it so much. They gifted it to me. Can you believe that? YSL me lo regalo, girl. They gifted it to me, and I'm so shook that they gave it to me. I still can't believe it came to my house, and I opened it, and it was the actual perfume. It's so unreal, I swear. But this one to me, it's beautiful, beautiful. One that I would always have in my collection. But yes, girl, gorgeous bottle, gorgeous fragrance. I love it so much. Super thankful they gifted it to me. I still, girl, the digo, I can't even believe it still, but she is part of my collection now, and I'm super happy. Okay, so a couple of months ago, I actually bought this one, but I wanted to get more fragrances so that I could show you the full video. So I did end up getting Mar Jacob Stacy Also Fresh. So I know that a lot of people are over the daisies. They say that all the daisies smell the same. I did smell the new one. It's very cute packaging, but I do agree. They all literally smell the same. So I just decided to go with this one because I do like the DNA of the daisies. And this one was, off, uh, was a 4.2 fluid ounce. So I figured since I I was gonna I knew I was gonna spray a lot of this I wanted it to last me a little longer so I got the bigger size so that's the only reason I got this one but honestly any of the daisies will do they all literally smell similar maybe one or two little things are different but nothing much so yes I got it I love it smells good it's like an everyday fresh fragrance fresh floral fragrance for me and I'm very happy with it another one that I got was actually the original Burberry Her perfume this one i got because for the longest time i wanted it to include it in my collection but i never made the purchase 
because one it's really expensive and two whenever i would see it in a discounted website they would sell out super fast and i never got the chance to but then i finally saw it so i picked it up and i really like it when i smell it on my sister it smells so good i feel like it dries down a little different on everybody it's just a gorgeous fragrance it's like a floral almost kind of sweet but also musky fragrance and fresh i don't know but it works and i like it popular for a reason it's really good and then um like a couple days ago i ended up purchasing burberry her blossom so this one is the other flanker and here she is it literally looks exactly like the original the only difference is the the lids one's like pink and the other one's white but this one i really like this one this one is a more floral version of the original it's not as sweet it's definitely more of a fresh fruity fragrance but more floral and i love it i have come to the conclusion somebody pointed it out they were like you're a fresh a fresh fruity floral fragrance girl and i'm like yes i am because for the longest time i would say vanilla's sweet fragrances but out of my whole collection they are all this fragrance profile it's either fruity florals fresh fragrances or like super aquatic fragrances that's literally what i always gravitate towards so this one smells like that i like it it's beautiful and then i don't know if you guys noticed but i am kind of getting ready for like spring summer type of fragrances even though i hate the summer i still gotta get my freshy fragrances so i kind of am preparing for that um i feel like i would not purchase anything that's super sugary sweet because it's gonna get hot girl and i'm not gonna want to wear stuff like that so i did purchase the dolce and gabbana shine you guys know that i love my garden perfume from them and i also have the original so i was like let me get this one here she is girl i got the one ounce and look at this miniature little cute adorable little perfume it's the cutest thing i've ever seen i feel like i forget what one ounce bottles look like because most of my perfumes are like 1.7 and up so whenever i get a one ounce i'm like oh my god it's tiny it's so little <laughs> this one is literally smells like sunshine in a bottle i know there's fruity notes in here there's like solar notes in this as well but that is what it smells like it's very uplifting very bright this is something that you would want to put on a summer day when you wake up because it's hot outside and you just smell like sunshine like yellow flowers literally the color is perfect for it and the name because it smells like sun like sun in a bottle the next one i got is a repurchase i have already gone through a one ounce bottle of this and it is none other than yes i am glorious by casherel dude i really like this lipstick look this is my empty bottle my new bottle i only found it in a one ounce but that's fine i really don't care just getting a one ounce um i will keep repurchasing it even if it's in a one ounce forever if i have to but i love this one this is like a very sweet peach but still fresh and musky in a way i really don't know how to explain it but i really like this fragrance i love how it dries down on me definitely nothing out of this world but for me it just does it it's simple it's fruity it's sweet so i like it and i had to get myself another one i also got myself jimmy choo's rose passion this one i got in a one ounce as well super tiny bottle again like i'm like can you even see that look at that gorgeous but i got this one because i saw that it had a coconut note and i was like i think i'm gonna like it and i just got rid of my jimmy choo fever actually and i was like let's switch it up and get this one but i also didn't blind buy it i smelled it at ulta but honestly girl como que se me olvida i think i forget what things smell like i need to like take a notebook and really write down my thoughts about it because then i forget and i'm like yeah i actually liked it so i'm not saying i hate it but i can definitely tell you that i wouldn't repurchase it i'm definitely gonna use it i don't think it's a horrible scent but it reminds me a little too much of the fever and i just got rid of it so why would i want it this one smells like fever but if you added coconut and the only reason why i will continue to use it is because it has coconut so i'm planning on mixing this with my dolce and gabbana's garden i feel like they would mix really well or with my victoria's secret coconut milk just to make it a little bit more creamier but other than that i feel like if they made it smell a little more fresh i would have loved it but it still has that like almost ambery background that the fever has that 
I can't really look past. Okay, so then I also picked up the Jimmy Choo Floral. This one I did not blind buy. I smelled it at Macy's. I instantly loved it. Why? Because it's a fresh fragrance. It's a fresh floral fragrance. And in case you're wondering, this is not the lid that it comes with. I bought it as a tester, so it did not come with a lid, and I just put one that I had. But this one I purchased it because it reminded me of two fragrances in general like a mixture of both of them which is the Burberry Her EDT plus Idole by Lancome. I don't know why I get that background that Idole has like that floralness from it. I get the freshness from the Burberry Her EDT and I love those two fragrances. Those two fragrances are my favorite and a blend of both of those was perfect for me. I don't know if it's just me that I picked those fragrances up in this, but I really like it. So I also purchased a couple of samples because I really wanted to smell these two fragrances that I saw a lot of people raving about. But whenever I would go to the store, I could never sample them because they're not new fragrances. So in the stores, they didn't carry them. So I ended up getting a sample of Mont Blanc Signature and Paco Rabanne's, um Olympia because girl I've heard so many good things about these that I was like I want to know what it smells like so let's start off with the Mont Blanc signature this one I heard that it smells like a musky orangey creamy scent when I first sprayed it I liked it but I thought it was too light I felt like it wasn't gonna stay on my skin or my clothing because it's so faint so I was like ah, whatever but the day that I got this sample, I sprayed it on my hand. I had to do a set of nails that day. So then my client came, I was doing her nails, and my hand was moving back and forth. And then I kept getting whips, and in my head I was like, what did I put on? Because I smell so good, I couldn't remember what I put on. And I remembered that it was this. So I feel like when it dries down on my skin, I really like it. It smells so good. I feel like it mixes really well with my body chemistry, that I love the aroma that was coming from my skin. I still want to test this little sample that I have until the last drop. So until I make my full decision. Now the Paco Roban one. I am so 50-50 with this fragrance because when I first smell it, I get that saltiness. I get that fresh aquatic vibe. Kind of like a marine type of fragrance. But the dry down to me is drying very warm. And I feel like it's a mixture of a warm ambery base with salt on top of it. And I don't know if I could look past that. Because that is to me is making a smell a little mature. More mature than I would like it to be. I feel like if it didn't have any amber warm accords and it was just a fresh fragrance then I would love it but that's the only thing that's keeping me from deciding if I want to buy it or not but regardless I'm still gonna go through this little sample depending on how I feel about after I finish this little bottle this little sample then I might make the purchase but I'm not sure yet these two fragrances that I have here are by Pacifica this one is called Silver Moon and this one is called Dream Moon so this is the boxes were gifted to me by Pacifica and I wanted to talk about them here they are. The only thing I don't like, girl, is that they don't have lids. Why don't they have lids, Pacifica? Is it because you're trying to not waste on the lids? I don't really know what the story about them not having lids is, but it bugs me so much. But it is what it is. I'm not complaining too much. They were free. I'm very thankful that they gave them to me. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and spray them. So the Silver Moon has notes of vanilla, almond, and spice. You definitely pick up that powdery kind of almond, bitter almond scent to it with the vanilla. But the vanilla is not extreme. It smells almost like a clean vanilla to me. To me what it smells like, it's like a powdery, cleanish vanilla. The Dream Moon. So this one has notes of patchouli, sandalwood, and pink rose. So as soon as I sprayed this one, my nose went to like a Baccarat Rouge dupe a Ariana Grande and a mixture of Victoria's Secret's Midnight Bloom. That is literally what this smells like. If you want another dupe for that fragrance, this is what you want. Although I will say, this does not have the sweetness that Ariana Grande Cloud dries down to. So maybe you'd like it. It smells super, super similar to Midnight Bloom. They're literally dupes. And so if you wanted something stronger to layer your Midnight Bloom with, this one would be perfect for you. Um, these two are body mist. These are from Finery. They sent me two body mist and like a little discovery set. They sent me I'm a Musk and not another cherry. The one that's I'm a Musk honestly also is giving those woody fresh musky vibes. 
So to me, it literally smells like Cloud, Ariana Grande's Cloud, and Thank You Next had a baby, and then this came out. But it's nice. It's clean, but also musky and woody at the same time. So I really like this one. It's a very clean, fresh fragrance that I feel like you can use for everyday use. Nothing really to complain about, but it's also nothing to like super rave about in my opinion, but it is nice. Now, the cherry one, to me, I'm not the biggest fan of cherry anything because I haven't found anything that I really like. Not saying that it's horrible or anything like that, but to me, it's nothing amazing. To me, I always struggle to find cherry fragrances really good. Because to me, what they smell like is a car freshener. It smells like the inside of a car. And like, it's not like it's bad, but to me, it smells like car. And I don't want to smell like a car. It's just a cherry fragrance. There's literally nothing I can say because I can't say, oh, it stinks. Oh, it's amazing. It's just like in the middle for me. Girl, I found this lip gloss at the Dollar Tree and it smells like peach rings. It's by the brand LA Colors and it's really nice. It's giving me those mm, 2000s little lip glosses that you would just they're like roll-ons it's so precious i want to go buy all of the other ones because i just wanted to test one out before i bought all of them but i like it so i'm gonna go next week and hopefully they have them because they had a lot of different um scents or flavors okay so the next one i have here is by none other than shakira shakira <laughs> This one is called Dance and look at her hips don't lie. The bottle is absolutely beautiful. It's super cute. I love this. Look at that. It's her body and it has like little chains. It's super cute. Dude, you see I did a little dent because I used it once. For a celebrity fragrance, I will say this smells really good. It's a tropical fruity fragrance. It's sweet. It's like every day. It smells really good. The only thing is that it doesn't last. So that's the only complaint I have about this. Like it lasts like about two hours the most. I just wished it performed a little better. But you know, it is what it is. It's affordable. So I can't complain too much about it. But I really like this one. My mouth is freaking dry. And look, I got a black Stanley. My, my sister gifted it to me. Shout out to my sister. She's the one who gives me the damn Stanleys. But I finally got a black one because somebody clocked me in the house. In my other video when I was like, I'm not girly. And then I hold up a big ass pink cup i heard you girl i heard you so here's the black one to match my soul um but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up i like hearing your comments even if you do or don't like what i like i love reading it all it doesn't matter if you don't like it maybe you think they stink girl still let me know in the comments um but anyways i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.